Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are talking about fermentation. Now, what is fermentation? Fermentation is a metabolic process that produces chemical changes. In any substrate or product by the action of enzymes. Now, enzymes, enzymes are proteins that act as a catalyst which helps to speed up the chemical reaction. If we are talking about the fermentation in related to in terms of biochemistry, biochem, uh, biochem, in terms of biochemistry, fermentation is defined as the release of energy from carbohydrate, whereas the oxygen is absent. And if we are talking about the production, if we are talking about the fermentation in related in terms of food production, it is the process in which microorganisms bring several changes to food stuff or beverages that helps the fermentation or the science of fermentation is called zymology now proceed to the history of fermentation as we know fermentation is a natural process mostly people almost all people apply most used most people used this method to make products for example wines cheese beers several medicines, etc. A scientist named, actually, Louis Pasteur was the first microbiologist demonstrated the fermentation which, is, which was caused by living cells. Three known scientists worked independently and concluded that yeast was a living organism. This was a living organism that produced by budding. They proved it by their microscopic investigation. After that long battle occurred and finally this debate brought to an end when the Louis Pasteur proved that fermentation was initiated by living organisms. This process is started by the by any living organism. This is the, here's the example of fermentation. There's a fermentation of yogurt. We are taking the raw, raw milk, then the homogenization and pasteurization process. The raw milk is pasteurized and crushed for fat by pressure. The homogenization is a process in which the any, any product is going to be further processes and the pressure is applied on that product. And then cooling process, milk is cooled to about 40 degrees and a starter is added. A starter is added, uh, here is a lactic acid bacteria. It helps to ferment the yogurt. Then mixing, uh, milk is mixed with a starter, starter, which is the lactic acid bacteria. Then fermentation starts. It, it is kept about 40 degrees, which is the lactic acid bacterium, which helps them to ferment easily. When it is fermented well, it is cooled in order to continue to ferment anymore. And then the product is ready. Now the uses of fermentation. Fermentation helps us to preserve food through microorganisms. It, it means several microorganisms are very useful and they help us to preserve our food. Next, any large scale processes that occur with or without air. It mostly, uh, it, these are the mostly industrial processes, industry based processes, sorry. industry-based processes and uh, microorganisms are help in the processes for the production of such as for, for example of uh, production of several products like dairy products and the alcoholic beverages like cheese as I discussed before beers several drugs yogurt etc thank you all from from my side thank you for your watching